playing the second recording now. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm ready to go. <clears throat> ah, this is very, very interesting indeed there. Um, many years ago, my stepmom said to me, please, whatever you do, don't mention your last name in the videos. She said, oh, it's just embarrassing. It's a shame. So that was then when I made the, the byline, Paul Pluter is Archie Luxury. Every video has got my surname in it. When someone says you can't do it, oh, geez, that's just a red flag. Um, I found that with the, with the dating, on the dating scene, I found I have a lot more success with women. Normally when you tell them, hey, I'm a YouTube celebrity, I've got 50 million views, it actually, they get very excited. Yeah, that's fantastic. Fans want to meet you. Then they start doing a bit of homework about it, some of your content. So I actually prefer to date women now who don't speak English at all. That really helps me in my dating life. I find if they can understand what I'm saying, it kind of kills the relationship. So I prefer now to date women who speak, uh, who don't speak English. Um, how has it helped me? Well, I've lost jobs over it. Um, I've, uh, I mean, I, I had a job at a waste processing plant where the people in the waste processing industry are pretty rough. Okay, let's not, let's not, let's not skirt around this. The women there are really fucking tough bitches. And when they complain to management about your videos, it's pretty, it's pretty nasty, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened there. And um, I had one manager who actually had a look at my stuff and he said, hey, it's cool, it's great. Then he went on vacation. Then they came after me and said, right, your, your services are no longer needed. So it was time to go. It was time to go. I got to be honest with you there. You know, I've often, I always, I'm always here to help anyone. If you want to start a watch channel, I, I've helped so many people. And the biggest disappointment is that I've helped so many people, but when they start to have some success and start to go places, they very quickly forget about me. Okay. You know, one, one fucker there, he, he was friends with me for a long time. Um, he was a, you know, he used to ring me. I used to chat to him. He was, I thought he was a friend, uh, but he was just a snipe, sniveling little fucker. Um, who just wanted to fucking steal all my ideas. He stole my, my lines, you know. I invented the term the governor as far as watches go. He stole my lines. I've even got a fucking letter from him where he said, you're the only governor. And, and then he steals my fucking lines. I had... So I got to be completely frank with you. A lot of these other YouTubers there who do watches, they're just fucking assholes. They're really fucking nasty. I, I try and help anyone. You came to me and said, hey, would like to interview. I said, oh, yeah, sure. No worries. Just tell me when we'll do it. Yeah, I've seen your channel. It's cool. Let's, let's do it. You know, I try and help so many people, but no one thanks me. They all stab me in the back. So I'm very disappointed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, it's just disappointing. It's disappointing, you know? 
Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I, I would have to say Paddock, of course, is at the top, right? I think number two, even though I don't necessarily like this brand, I'd say AP would have to be number two. And even though AP is really only Royal Oak, anything that's not Royal Oak is fucking unsellable, okay? Um, and number three, you'd, you'd say Vacheron. But the, the thing is, let me just say this. There are some other brands which you'd have to include there. Like you'd have to say, well, even though they're not Swiss. Lange, Lange, yeah, exactly. Lange would have to be up there with Paddock. And you'd also have to say Breguet. Breguet invented the fucking tourbillon. Now, Breguet was French before they moved to Switzerland, so they're not true Swiss, see? Um, I, I, <clears throat> I really think, um, i got to be honest with you there, I think, I think Paddock by a long, long way there. Um, I, I, I think Paddock is probably, um, you know, if you said to me, what would you like? Okay, I'm not talking, obviously, you'd pick the most expensive, but what watch would just be happy for you? I'd have to say a 5170 is my ultimate. It's just a manual wine chronograph. It's just gorgeous. That would be my exit watch, if there was ever such a thing. I think that would be it. Now, there's more expensive things by all those brands, but I think that's just such a cool piece, you know, just such a cool, cool thing to have. Um, so I, I reckon myself, I reckon those five brands, Paddock, AP, VC, Lange, and Breguet would be kind of those five. I reckon those five is what I love most there. Sure. You're talking about AP, you mean? Look, I, I think the problem with AP is, is that they've got some fundamental flaws there. Like you look at the offshore chronographs, they actually used ultra thin movements in a lot of those pieces. So even though they look chunky and masculine and strong and tough, they're actually very, very, very delicate. Um, I think with a lot of the APs too, you look at their chronographs, they used a module chronograph. So they had the movement and they put a module on it, which I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Uh, I mean, it is, it's okay, but I, I think AP itself, if, if it wasn't for the Royal Oak, they would really be an, a non-brand. Um, <clears throat> I think Paddock itself, you would have to say they're the leader because they've got so many cool things. The Calatrava range is amazing. Um, they've got so many, like like AP itself there, they never really had a world time. Their world time, I don't know if you've seen their their, their attempt at a world time, was actually pretty fucking shitty. Um, Paddock had the world time. They had Chronograph, the Perpetual Calendar. There's just so many Paddocks. I just love the history and the story behind them. I think brands like Vacheron, Vacheron's really been, um, they never really, they've done, the, they've done, they've been very clever in recent years. I love their history series. I think that's a great idea. They've got some great looking pieces. Uh, but I, I, sorry, what's that? Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta say, I think realistically, you know, for me, I think Paddock, is just the leader because they got so many cool things. They had that sports genre. They had the Nautilus, the Aquanaut, uh, as well as the Calatrava, the the annual calendar. They inv see this is the whole thing. They're so innovative. The annual calendar came out in the nineties. They had the fifty thirty five. That that's when they they brought that out. So they're they're still bringing out innovative things. That it's pretty amazing. I'm I'm really I. Mm.
Yes. No, no, I, 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 it's all in house, all in house. Yeah, I edit the videos. Actually, a fan made that video. A fan made that intro. That was fucking very, very clever how that was done. Yes, that was that was a fucking amazing video he did. Yeah, lovely guy. Lovely guy. Yeah, no, that was very well done. That was exceptionally well done. Yes. Yes. Look, it's interesting. The fans themselves there, um, I just came back from Hong Kong. They're real stingy fuckers. Not one of them gave me a dollar. Did I tell you that? Um, look, I got some amazing fans. I've got to tell you, in all honesty, I mean, what is wealth? What is anything? It's it's not just about money. It's about, you know, um, it's it, it's kind of in the YouTube space there. I would say I may not have the highest number of subscribers. I may not have the highest number of views, but I have the I think I have the, the, the biggest recognition there. And um, look, I've tried to not sell out. I've tried not to sell out. Like, if I was cozy next to a brand, I think it'd be very easy to sell out. And I've had offers. I've actually had offers, believe it or not. And um, I've always distanced myself from from that. I've resisted. I've resisted. I've resisted the urge to do that because I want to be independent. I I I I really want to say what I think. If it's shit, I want to say it's garbage. And um, I had a very interesting conversation with Ariel Adams, you know, from a blog to watch. And he was actually quite envious. He said, the thing about you is you can just say what you want. See, he could never do that because he would lose access to watches to review. He would lose invites. He would lose... You know, he, so he can never really... He can never just be crass and tell you this is a fucking piece of shit. He could never say that because he would lose access to... It's like being a car reviewer. If you said this car's a piece of fucking shit, they'll never lend you a car again to review. You, you, you know what I mean? You've got to watch what you... Hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of, that's just the, I mean, the problem is, is that I've accepted poverty. You understand that? These guys get big money. I, I'm I'm living in a, uh, I'm living in a shithole. Just, just panning the room here. Just panning the room. Yeah, I, I, I live in, 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 in a, um, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I should have sold out, you know, it's one of these things there, but, um, I think if I sucked up to the brands, you know, I may get more money and more access, but is it what you really want to do? You've got to decide that yourself, you know. You've, you've, so, mm. Mm hmm. Yes. I just think I, I, I think when I first started, you just I was just playing with the technology. I never expected Archie Luxury to be to be famous or anything like that. Um, I think I'm more truthful now. See, I am just a nasty, crass person. You see, I am not. See, the whole I don't know if you get this. The whole joke with Archie Luxury is see. This is the joke. Not many people have got this joke, but with these luxury brands like Patek and, and AP and VC, 
if you want to be successful, you buy their product. It's called success. It's psychology. It's success by association. If you want to be successful, you drive a Mercedes, you have a Rolex, you, uh, you, you know what I'm saying, don't you? What I've sort of said is you can own all these luxury goods and be as crass and as nasty as a bin man. You understand? That's the truth. That's the joke that I'm sort of anti anti-luxury in so many ways because I may I can know about these things but it doesn't mean you're classy or you know that's what I've tried to do there exactly that's the whole point and I've also tried to do it by saying that I never buy retail I always bought them at the arse end when someone's lost money that's always been, see, my game has been that I've really bought everything. I buy something and I buy something that I think is good value because then I can sell it for more. Does that make sense? That's the whole idea. I mean, it's no fun in paying full retail for something and losing a lot of money. That's stupid. You want to beat the market. So I look at a lot of my luxury goods. I've had them for free. You think of it this way. I bought my annual calendar when I turned 40, right? I bought it. I wore it for 12 months. Every day I wore it for 12 months. Every day I wore it at least once. Because I, I did, did wear other watches, but every day I did wear it. And then I sold it and, and made a profit. That's like, not only did I have the watch for free, but... You know, it's kind of, it, it, it just, it's one of the coolest watches. It was, an, it was an annual calendar. It's just such a cool thing to have for free. I mean, that's that's cool, isn't it? If someone would give you a Porsche 911 to use for a year for free, that would be so cool too, wouldn't it? You know, exactly. So <clears throat> that's kind of always been the inner joke. So I've never been really, I've never been friendly to the dealer network as well. I've always said buy used, don't buy new, haggle, ha negotiate. I've always, I've always pushed that. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's exactly right. You can still be a crass, nasty fucker whether you got a paddock or you don't. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Exactly. Mm hmm. Sure, sure. Mm hmm. Yes. Look, the movie was a great thing. I, I don't know if you saw the movie. Okay. okay. Well, basically, it told the story. Look, it's not perfect. It wasn't high budget. It wasn't. It's basically 10 years of my video collection I've put together and tr tried to put some sort of story together there. Um, and, you know, the movie doesn't have a Hollywood ending. YouTube wrecked my life. I'm unemployable and it's fucked everything up. That's, that's, that's the moral from the thing. Be very careful what you put out there in social media. Um... Look, the movie was fantastic. I really loved it. I've also got a racehorse named after me. That's been a huge thing. Archie Luxury, the racehorse. And I did a rock video. Did you see the rock video? Yeah, the rock. Yeah. Um, look, what's next for Archie? I met a billionaire. I don't know. I, I was flown to, to uh, Indonesia to meet a billionaire. That was amazing. Look, what's next for Archie Luxury? Um, I want to... Look, for me, the reason I'm in Australia is is because I want to see my kids grow up. Um, I want to do a lot more travel. I want to... I've decided I'm not really a dealer in watches. Okay, I do occasionally sell watches. Yes, that's true, I do. But I don't do it just to flip. Like, I don't think I'm a very good dealer because a good dealer, if he could make money on something, he should sell it. 
Whereas I say, no, I don't want to sell that watch. I love that watch. So I got 10 at the moment. Okay. So I got my paddock, my 5110 World Time. I got my Jaeger La Culture Reverso Grand Date. I have got my um, Explorer 2 Polar. I got my Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I got my IWC Ingenua with in house movement. I got the Breguet, the Breguet, the Breguet Type 20. I have got the um, Tudor Black Bay. I got the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. I got the, the Tag Heuer Monaco Caliber 11. And I just got a PAM, the submersible PAM 24. Yeah, PAM 24. So for me, I want to add more watches. One brand per watch. So I would love to add a Grand Seiko, some sort of Grand Seiko. I would like to add maybe a Zenith chronograph with the multicolored eyes. I would like to add a Lang A1. I want to get another fuck off, really nasty fuck off watch. A Lang A1. I want to keep adding. I like adding. I, I like to keep watches make me happy. Okay. So what's the future there? Look, <clears throat> I like working for myself. I may not earn a lot of money, but I do what I want. I travel a lot. Um, I got to tell you, the fans are pretty cool. The fans really is means more to me than money. The fans are very cool. I love the fans. I really do love the fans. Mm. And uh, I, I'm going to see if I can keep making content. I like making content. That's what I... I yeah, I, I love to... I love jumping on a plane in economy, staying at a a really cheap hotel and that's kind of cool. It's very I like that sort of shit. Yeah, that's very I like that. I like to do more of that. Yeah. Yeah, well also on the Archie Luxury channel I travel as well. Favorite place I've ever been, probably Japan. Japan. Ah, uh, look, Japan is Japan is just amazing. The whole place is amazing there. Um, I I I I I really love, I really love Japan. Um, so there's so many. Japan is just amazing. I, that's probably my favorite country. Is Japan? It's clean. The people are polite. Uh, the women are so fucking sexy, sexy women. Very sexy. And uh, yeah, no, Japan. I love Japan. There's so many. I love, I love, I love a lot of these. I, lo I love difference. You don't, you don't want to go to a country that's the same as another country. They're all different, you know. Australia is beautiful. We've got beautiful, um, we've got beautiful, you know, the wilderness and and and, and the fresh air. But we, we, you don't have political freedoms. If you say something wrong, the secret police will arrest you in Australia. Because I do activism as well, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I'm a political activist. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm facing, I'm, I'm facing charges at the moment. This is serious. This is not a joke. I am actually, I could be facing twelve months in prison. Well, it, it, it's, it's regarding my, my rail leaks. I had some. Just, 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 just type in Paul Pluter. And Star Chamber, it, it, it comes up on the internet. I, I don't need to say anything to you. I, I, it's before, before the courts. I could go to jail for 12 months. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how life is. That's how life is. I, I would seriously say, in all honesty, I would say get one watch that you really like. Instead of churning and burning, just get one and keep it. Get the watch. Like a get a Rolex and just stick with it. Um I, I, I think it's better to have one really cool watch than ten mediocre watches. <clears throat> You know, I, I, I would say one watch is just have a Rolex for life is, is just so cool. I wish I still had mine, but 
Well, that's, that's just the way it goes there. Um, I would say seriously, seriously, don't take things so seriously there. I mean, these watch companies and that, they're all full of bullshit. I mean, buying a product doesn't make you better than somebody else. That's the honest truth, right? Um... It's, it's, I, I, I think I really like quality. I always like quality. That's what I, that's the thing about luxury goods. Like they are so expensive, right? Are they worth it at the end of the day? And I think some luxury goods are actually worth it. Some aren't, a lot aren't, but some are. And um, I think you've got to pick things for yourself, not, not to impress other people, just things that you like for yourself. And, um, that's why I like the world time because it's kind of very discreet. No one knows what it is. To average person, it's a five hundred dollar watch. It doesn't look like a fifty thousand dollar watch, and I think that's kind of cool. You know, you, you, at the end of the day, I think, I think the most important thing for yourself is to try and be good person. That doesn't mean you toe the government line or things like that, but. I think you don't want to be wasteful with resources in this world. You want to try and we will run out of resources eventually. I think you want to, if you saw a child that needed help, you'd want to try and help a child. Um, I think you'd want to try and do the right thing for the environment. Um, I, I think, I think my, honestly, I think you should always question things and always look at the real. Why are they saying this? Why are they doing that? Just just don't believe everything that everyone says. You've really got to question um, question things. But um, I, I think the most important thing is don't fucking pay retail. Generally speaking, retail is not your friend. Retail is not your friend. Um, you you really you really want to buy. You really want to buy used. I think that's the best advice in watches. Besides Rolex, I mean, if you, if you buy an Explorer one, sure, you can pay retail for it's okay. But generally speaking, you should try and buy things used. Used. I think that's the most important thing. Try and buy things which you can resell for more. Then if you have to get out of them, you don't lose a lot. Yes. Hey, no problems at all there. I'll just stop the recording here and look. I I, I do love your channel there. So uh, hey, that is that is fantastic, and uh, I wish you a lot of luck there.